Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, it is a promotional video because I have a tool that I'm going to show you from my friends over at Saker. This is the 4-in-1 Painter's I-Type Accessory Tool. And what it is, is four composite I-shaped brackets that you put on your big work pieces to paint and stack to save space in your shop. Now they sent these to me because I have a project I'm doing for a remodel of a bathroom. And I'm gonna do this door right here, which is actually two slabs for a bifold door. So let's go over to the bench and open up these boxes and see what's in them. All right, let's open up this box and see what we got. I was gonna ask my cat Mittens to help, but apparently it's bath time. So there is a plastic seal on here, so I'll cut that first with the knife. Pop this open. All right, got a list of instructions, which we will show a close up of so we can figure out this together. Six quarter 20 or five, five quarter 20 pan head screws. I thought there would be nails that nail in here, but they are screws. And four tools in the box. Thinking one set of tools per panel or door. They are, appear to be a sturdy composite. The screw looks like it goes in here. And then you put this on a door. And on the next door, you have one that goes this way and they lock in place. So what I'm going to do now is take this stuff off of here and bring the doors over and put them on the table. Let's do that. All right, let's take a look at what the instructions say. This is how we're going to use it. I just want to get a close up for you guys to read it. So the first one, place the woodwork frame against one end of the side of the board that you're going to be painting. Step two, screw the screw through the hole and fix it on the board. And then down here we got a couple pictures of what it should look like and what it shouldn't look like. The installation location that rhymes of the woodwork frame should be as close as possible to the edge of the board and the wood cannot exceed the red line. Otherwise, it is easy to scratch when rotating. In addition, all positions should be unified so as to facilitate stacking and use. Now, I don't see a red line anywhere, so maybe there's a red line in my head and I'm supposed to know, but this is what we want right there. We don't want that. That's too far away from the edge. This, not that. All right, I think the best way to do this to make sure that the point of this is at the very edge of this door is to grab a piece of flat stock Put it on here, move this to the edge, make sure it's flush. Eyeball the center, center punch, and then put the screw in. And that should be lined up properly. You can measure, but uh, using a piece of flat stock is a little bit quicker. If I can just get this open, it would be even quicker. And there goes the air conditioner. I'm going to make it as loud as possible in my shop so you can't hear me. But it is 90 degrees outside. So. And then we just screw this in, like so. And it spins. And you can loosen that up a little bit if you want it a little bit looser. On to the other end. Got my piece of flat stock and my center punch. This is kind of cheating, but it works great. Now this don't have to be exact, but you get as close as possible. These are pretty thick screws. I actually was going to use this for this kitchen island I'm building for the shelves I made, but I didn't want this big screw splitting the plywood on the sides. This is more of a solid piece of wood, and I'm not worried about it as much. So. Rotates, 
lined up. So I'm going to flip the door, do the other side. Good thing these are light. This is much easier to do than a big old door. Take the piece, take the piece of wood, put the point on the end, center it. Center punch it, get off, put it back on. Now the only disadvantage to this I see is after you remove these, you'll have to fill these holes and paint them. On to the other side. Piece of wood on the end, flat. Take the point part of the bracket, the eye bracket, up against the piece of flat wood that lines it up with the end of here. Punch. Might be off 32nd of an inch this way or that way. That's okay. Don't let it bother you. Start it by hand. All right, let's stand this thing up. I'm going to flop places. Flop places? How about swap places? Not flop places. Over here, put the four on this one the same way. Let's see how they stack. Try and get a good camera angle. First, let them do this. And I'm guessing that this camera angle is the best. So, that, I think I'm going to turn these this way. That. Now they should place right in. So now I can paint this door like this. Paint this door like this. Spray. Then when it dries, or if I can get under it without touching the top, stack it up on top like this. Brilliant. That's it. These things are super easy to use and I love them. Now, I put these on the wrong side. Now, because my doors are long and thin, I had to put them on the outside. So when I patch these holes, they will, one of them will be on the inside where the door closes. The other one will be on the outside that's up against the wall. No one will see it. I'll use some wood filler. If you were doing big doors, 28 inch doors, 32 inch doors, and so on, you would put these on the top and the bottom. Once again, no one would see them and you might not even have to fill the holes. I'm a little anal, I like everything to be perfect because like this door says right here, warranty void if not sealed on all six sides. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I would then fill a hole and paint it anyways. 
So the benefit of putting them on the top and bottom is, if I wanted to and had the room right now, I could take this end and rotate it up because these are secure and it's on basically a hinge. If you have two big doors that are twice as wide, you can then stack it and flip it this way. So it will help you. Great tool. This is gonna come in very handy in my shop. I'm gonna get some still pictures to show you at the end of the video. There will be a link in the descriptions where you can get these. Please leave your comments, let me know what you think. Ring the bell, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.